All right, so we'll start off with a simple one, or a straightforward one, I don't know, simple. So in uh, general chemistry one, if I asked you to balance this equation, you would say uh, it's balanced. So aluminum plus copper produces aluminum plus copper. One aluminum on each side, one copper on both sides, right? You would think this is balanced. Well, it turns out it isn't balanced due to the transfer of electrons. The electrons aren't balanced. Somebody's losing more or somebody's gaining more than what this equation. Here's what we're going to do. Steps. Hmm. I'll put it over here. Steps for balancing redox reactions. Uno. That means one. In acidic conditions. Forgot that part. We're also going to be, uh, balance uh, redox reactions in basic conditions, so we do have to specify that. Although we're not going to need it on this specific example. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is assign oxidation states. All right, so what's the oxidation state on aluminum, solid? Zero. It's its neutral atom element. Zero has to equal zero. What would be the charge for copper plus two? Plus two. Its oxidation state has to equal its charge, the overall charge. What about aluminum plus three? Plus three. Copper? Zero. All right. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to write, and write starts with a W, and W's look like that. Write out the half reactions. So we've got to identify what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. So aluminum's going from a zero to a plus three. What happened to aluminum? Lost, and how many? Three. Three. So it lost three electrons. So that would be our oxidation or our reduction half reaction. Oxidation, good old Leo. So our oxidation half reaction is aluminum. Solid going to aluminum, three plus, aqueous plus three electrons. Now, what's going on with copper? Copper is going from a plus two to a zero. What happened to copper? Gain. Gained? Two. Two? Good. Gained two electrons. So that is my grr reduction, yes. And so copper is gaining two electrons going to copper solid. <clears throat> All right, so this is where we can see why this is imbalanced. Aluminum's losing three electrons. The copper, one mole of copper, can only gain two moles of electrons, okay? And so the electrons are imbalanced, okay? So we're going to balance those, but first, we don't have to do it here. Um, but, I still should write it because it's part of the steps, we're going to balance our non-oxygen and hydrogen atoms. So this is where you would look at it. We're going to do hydrogen and oxygen in a different step. Uh, so you'd look at this in your half fraction. Okay, I have one aluminum, one aluminum, balanced. My reduction, I have one copper, one copper, that's balanced. Okay, so we didn't have to do it here, but we might have to do it at a future point in time. Hint, we will. 
All right, now we're going to balance the electrons. and half reactions. And what we do, how we do that, is just multiply one or both of the half reactions to get the same number of electrons on both sides. So right now I'm losing three and gaining two, so I'm going to need to find the least common denominator, which would be six. And so I'm going to multiply this whole half reaction by 2 to get 6 electrons. And I'm going to multiply the whole copper half reaction by 3 to get 6. And at that point in time, that's when I usually combine them. So I'm back to 2 aluminum plus 3 coppers. I'll write it now. I'll write the electrons now, but uh, going forward I won't, you'll see why. Plus six electrons goes to three, goes to, I want to write aluminum first for some reason. Goes to two aluminums. Yep. Yeah, I'm just rewriting it. Plus three copper solids, aluminum plus three. Plus six electrons. Plus six electrons? Okay, yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, you can put the six electrons and three coppers, that's fine. What does happen to those electrons? They cancel out. Remember when we were adding uh, chemical equations for like Hess's law? When we write an overall reaction, anything on both sides of the reactions cancel out. And so, yeah, the electrons are never seen in the balanced final chemical equation because there's the same on both sides if it's balanced. And so normally all we would have to do is write out two aluminums plus three coppers plus, nope, produces two aluminums plus three coppers. And that's usually what I'll just write at the end. I won't include the electrons going forward because they're always going to cancel out. All right, so now it's balanced. Even though at the beginning it looked balanced, it wasn't balanced due to the electrons transferred. 